you need to hear this. This is an angelic message for today. I'm Michelle. This is Angel Souls. This is what I do. And today's message is three of Michael. Release the past. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. Now this is known as a heartbreak card, but this is Michael. This is how your brain is reacting to something. Not necessarily how your heart is actually reacting, right? Now this card is usually depicted with like a heart and three swords going into it, but the heart is in command, okay? And sometimes the heart has to keep the mind in check and says, hey, you know, quit trying to make this seem worse than it is. This could be something that's a bit of a letdown, something that's disappointing, but it is because the ego consciousness is saying, oh, that's such a disaster. Why did that happen? Uh, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And really, it needed to go away. I am going to tell you a story really quick. I was in a very abusive relationship years ago. And I was engaged to be married to this person. And he was abusive on a lot of different levels, mostly psychological, but it did get physical as well. And I thought when I found out that, you know, he was doing some unscrupulous things with someone else. Um, when I found that out, I thought my world was crumbling down. And to say that I had heartbreak doesn't even come close. I went into a deep depression. Uh, it was a lot of narcissistic abuse. So that's a lot to recover from and because they wipe out your sense of self, make you think that you can't get along without them. Uh, his favorite thing to say was, who else will ever put up with you? <laughs> which like same bro <laughs> like, like, now I look back and I'm like ah and he was gross he was really gross and he was so pompous I remember he made me take a photo of him doing like like the fit is gross <laughs> it's really bad oh if I didn't think that it would suck that monster back in I would totally put the picture up here because it's, it's so cringy but when all that was going down I mean I was destroyed as he wanted me to be. And now, looking back, oh, thank you, good Lord, baby Jesus. Oh, thank you for bringing somebody else around because I was not seeing it. I was not seeing it. I was going to stick around. I was going to marry that man. And his family was terrible too. They were, oh, his mom was the worst. Oh, she was the worst. <laughs> like he, he comes from a long line of toxic people. But that was the biggest gift the universe gave me because once I got through it, number one, that's where I learned to be independent. That's where I kind of said, F it. I'm going to come and go as I please. I will not wait for someone to travel with me. I will not wait to have somebody go with me to whatever location before I go. And if somebody has some judgment about me being by myself, that is ooh, just exposing who they are. It says so much about them and very little about me in that sense. So like that's their problem, right? So that was one gift. Another gift was realizing what I don't want, opening my eyes, making sure I never get treated like that again. Now, unfortunately, narcissists exist. That's why I talk about it all the time. Uh, it's darkness working through people. And I think it's the one sort of vehicle for darkness where they can fly under the radar because a lot of people are still asleep. And so they don't realize what's going on. And if you, as you well know, if you try to speak up against a narcissist, whatever, what does everybody do? Oh, you're the problem. There's something wrong with you, right? Again, feeding into a scapegoat mentality, the black sheep kind of thing, even if it's a group of friends. So yes, those people still come around. My time for picking out a covert narcissist, and this is part of this blessing as well. I used to, <laughs> covert narcissist, I would be friends with these people for years and years and years. And really get ugh, diminished, lowered, I mean, all of it. And now my turnaround time is about three months. Not great, okay, but better than it was. <laughs> I mean, we're going from like years to a few months before I realize like, oh, I'm seeing your mask slip a little bit. So those are the kinds of things. Like if you think that this heartbreak is like the end of the world kind of situation, 
Oh, I promise you it's not. I promise you, oh, it, you're being saved. And I remember when people would tell me, oh, well, you dodged a bullet. I never understood why you were with him in the first place. The wedding planner said that. When I called him up and said, hey, I'm calling off the wedding, um, he was like, oh, thank God. I, I wasn't really understanding that connection anyway. Like, I, I'm really glad to see you getting out of there. So everybody else saw it but me. Now, how many of you are sitting in that position right now? It's going to feel... It's going to be your brain kind of tricking your heart a little bit, okay? It's not what it seems. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.